We're here tonight to discuss women in design and specifically how women in independent practice can be supported and elevated. Establishing one's own firm is the dream of many in our profession. It's challenging for anyone who attempts to do it, but it seems to be particularly challenging for women, even today. And we do, as women, come to these um, milestone moments in our life, too, about you know, choices we have to make about work-life balance and families, and it's, it's complex. When you get out of school and you're in your job, that's school for you, and what you can do is within your office. Somebody's going to a job site, they're testing soils today, can I go? I think that you have to be very proactive to uh, diversify your experience. Um, to gain as much as possible. Actually, one of the women in my office is a, a senior associate. We call her the Velvet Hammer, and she has this wonderful way. And sometimes women actually have an advantage of being non-threatening in a sort of, um, you know, two guys like, you know, like a testosterone thing, and um, being firm. But yes, there's no, there's like a big smile, but there's like, you know, you know that you're not going to get beyond that. And and she's been very effective at getting things, getting contractors to do things in a, in a very nice way. And so finding those mentors that you really have a connection with is critical. Um, and then just being able to see how they uh, have evolved their career and how they participate in the community, what opportunities they take in their, in their own work and life to make a presence known. Uh, for a woman to mentor another woman, there, are, there are, of course is the work. There's the politics of the office. There's the balance of families. Uh, it's a complex uh, proposition to uh, work full time and to balance all of these things. I think people need to stay engaged, even if they take out time to have a family and, and do other things. But I think you need to stay engaged because I think if you if you're not engaged, then I think I think a lot of women fall out of out of uh, many careers. And I think architecture is hard because it's an extremely demanding career. And landscape architecture, I mean, I think design is a very demanding career. And it's hard to do it in 40 hours a week. And I think there's a lot of demands in an office. My big idol in, that I grew up with as a little kid, kid was Pippi Longstrom. And she had this wonderful saying, um, saying, Yes, I can do. I have never done that, so I can do that. <laughs> and I think it's something we all should live by. I, I always knew I wanted to have my own office. And, um, you know, to have your own office and, and to make that step from when you're getting a paycheck every week to, to going out is a very, on your own, is a very hard thing. And I actually did it a couple of different times. And the first time, not very well. I think, particularly for a lot of women, we tend to be pretty driven by you know, what we think we need to do. And uh, I, I, I'm guilty of this too. Um, I think it's important to step back and look at what you've accomplished and what you've learned from that and then, you know, reset your plan and make more incremental steps towards what you want to achieve with your life. 